what's up? What's up, you fear the scat man? He's already over on YouTube. He's ready to go. All right, I think everything is, uh, yeah, everything's working good. So let me just try not to bump anything as we get through here. Cool. So here we are back, back on the painting. And uh, I brought the chair out today, so what I'm probably going to do is uh, work on it like this and then probably drop it down just so that I'm not on the stool. Um, I, I actually have some nicer stools that I could be using. I need to bring I need to bring one of those nicer stools that has like cushion on it so I could sit on it. <coughs> What's up, Blue? <laughs> Blue Bayou. Hola, hola. What's up with your name? Is that your name? Blue Bayou. It almost uh, it sounds made up. <laughs> all right so anyway um let me get started on this i have the stencils cut out for the background and stuff hopefully we get that far i'm just gonna try to start filling in with the colors and uh i'm just gonna start with a little bit of uh a really light yellow um here to really get some details onto this onion and we're probably gonna use some of that little yellow there to kind of start basing in the guitar and stuff over here so that's where I'm gonna start. And let's see, which airbrush should I use today? I have, I think I'm gonna use the Creos for this. The GSI, the Procon boy. Everybody, I see everybody just called into different names. I, I, I don't know, I'm so confused about the name too, so. I believe they had a good name to begin with. Like Gunze is a good good sounds like a good enough brand. Gunze brand. I'd go for it, I'd buy it. So let me just rinse this out real quick. Just a tag name. <laughs> cool what's up Derek Coleman how's it going and so I'm just gonna take a little bit of a uh, some opaque white and some I'm gonna tint it down with a little bit of yellow we're gonna use a little bit of reducer to kind of help air it all just blend in together real nice What's up, Colder Steel? How's it going? I'm doing good, Derek. I'm doing good. Just another day in the neighborhood. Thought I'd decide to get started a little early today just so we could uh, get it done. Might be, a, might be a long stream. So. What's up? Uh, bye. By Cecil B. Or Bice. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> You've been watching her channel. Um, who? Jesse's channel. She has a YouTube channel? No way. No way. I don't even believe you. Not a YouTube channel. I know she's big over on Instagram. All right. Yeah, on Instagram. Don't you agree she would ma like make a great YouTuber though? Like she'd probably kill it. All right, so let's start in down here. Good afternoon. Uh, that's your Instagram name. What What is your Instagram name? By Cecil B. 
What's up, Tan Van de Wielen? How are you doing, sir? All it is is just a really light yellow and we're going to try to kind of base it in here and we're probably going to come back with some more white so all I'm going to do is kind of tint this down and then I'm going to add some you know some onion stripes obviously and then I'll come back with the white now we will have just lots of onion stripage. The layers, you know, peel back the layers of onion. So how's everybody's uh, Monday going? Got a good Monday? And she says she plays the keyboard. Oh, nice, nice, nice. I just know she seems to really like, uh, like metal music. I don't know. I don't know what the proper genre is specifically that she likes, but a lot of guitars. And she had some sort of music degree, so I just figured a nice guitar. She'd probably appreciate that. It's going. <laughs> you have a lot of... Oh, Cecil Burroughs. Cool. Cool, cool, Cecil. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. You have a lot of questions. Um, I'm scared. Usually when somebody says that, I, it's like, oh, no. <laughs> I'll try my best to provide answers. Um, but, yeah. Go ahead and shoot your shot. too bright I think I don't know it's not that bright in person on the camera on, on your like end it looks almost like it's glowing and on my end it doesn't look like it's there's not that there's not <laughs> there's not a glow to it I don't know hopefully I could uh, show you guys a little better also when I finish this I could uh, wipe it off with some degreaser and kind of show you guys what the background and stuff looks like. Probably do that before we start messing with the stencils to try to get the background in there. So once we got this all colored in. Still undecided if I should give her a little demon tail and some little horns. Yeah. <laughs> uh. What is a good way to do thin lines as a beginner? Um, um, so the the general best way to get thin lines, no matter beginner or experienced or anything, but you just got to get in close. You got to get in really close and just barely pull back on the needle, and then hold your distance on the on the trigger and hold your distance from the surface very very close and then move All right so make like a very small dot and then a line is just a moving dot so good luck to you hopefully that helps got a little chopped onion action Again, this yellow is just kind of just the base. We're not going to leave it. They're not going to be yellow onions. This is just kind of the 
so that when we add a little bit of white it kind of pops gives it something to sit on the piece I'm working on is it one of my stencils no no it's very easy to see what the stencils are by just going and actually checking them out. You just gotta go on the website, check them out, and you'll see right away it's, they're pretty self-explanatory. Some of them have videos, you can check out the videos for them. Yeah. There's really much to say about those. Alright. Uh, you're welcome, Derek Coleman. Uh, you're not a beginner, but I never took classes, so I do things my way. I just figure it out. Um, yeah, I guess. I never formally took classes either. Like, I'm going to the Airbrush Rendezvous in June next month. And that'll be the first time I've actually taken Airbrush-related classes. And it's not even Airbrush-related, because I'm taking the Luminor class which is more about just the Luminor paint and how to apply it and stuff, which is what I'm interested in, in learning. Um, so, yeah. But he, up until now, you know, I haven't really received any kind of formal training. Everything's kind of been self-taught and learned. And uh, just from learning from a little bit of other artists, uh, but not, you know, not in a class-type setting, just like, you know, working in the same shop type thing. You just learn information that way. From experience, as they would say. Man, this song really has like a ch church vibe. Something's going on with this song. Welcome today to the Airbrush Gospel. We're going to discuss airbrush techniques. Everybody hiss together. Amen. <laughs> This song is, I have to, it's, oh man, I'm just going to leave it. I'm just going to leave it. I don't want to get up. <laughs> Praise the airbrush gods. <laughs> Instead of all hail Jesus, it's going to be like all hail Mike Lavalley and the fire he provided upon us. Um. <laughs> Praise Iwata for bestowing upon us the eclipse and the whole eclipse line. <laughs> oh my god. Ugh. Alright, 
and she has her famously stained pants. Which is something I see a lot with like, um, not really a lot with airbrush artists, so it really sticks out when I see it on an airbrush artist, but like more with like oil painters and like other type of artists. And usually their painting clothes will have lots of stains. With airbrush artists, it's, you know, obviously unless you spill something or something, you're all right. I do have like my clothes for sanding and stuff though. <laughs> <laughs> See, like, if I zoom it out a little bit, it gets a little better. That's good. Keep it like that. <clears throat> cool. Um, Alright, since we have yellow in here, I'm just going to tint it with a little bit of purple. And what that's going to do is give us a light brownish tannish. Um, and I'm just gonna kind of guesstimate here um, to hopefully make a light kind of tannish and then we'll add a little more and make it a little darker what's up Robbie Ochoa greetings greetings right back to you sir from Colorado great old Colorado right back to you might have been too much but it's all right than I wanted so let me just add a little bit more of this um, yellow I just went a little bit farther than I wanted it to go so let's just add some yellow back For her skin tones and stuff, I'm just going to use the universal and uh, detail skin colors. What's up, Mark Nagel? Thank you, thank you, sir. Welcome to the stream here. Alright, let's see what we're looking at now. Okay, that's... That's a little better. Not quite what I was thinking, but that'll actually work. I like that. It's just a little offset color.
super impressed with that last painting. Uh, which one was that? The, um, the Steve Leahy painting? We're just getting started on the colors on this one, so if you like that one, you might want to stick around. Stick around, my friend. This onion is just kind of the... It's the pre-icing on the cake because it's going before everything. Yeah, it's sitting right over there. Uh, once I buff it and stuff, I'll, I'll probably once I get them all ready. Basically, I'll probably do a live stream, like a pre airbrush rendezvous live stream, um, and I'll just kind of just show them all to you guys once they're all buffed and ready to go. And if you're in the area during the airbrush rendezvous like make sure you you say what's up you reach out in some kind of way we could always hang out obviously I'm not gonna be there very long so my time is limited but if there's an opportunity I for sure will take advantage pretty good and I think I want to do orange on this so I won't mix any of this into there um, yeah I think I think I think we could add her skin tones in next or do I should I, I probably should do the guitar for no her skin her hand here kind of goes over so I should probably do that first and then I'll tape off her finger and stuff uh, when we doing the guitar and, and stuff it'll make it a lot easier so let's do that uh, some universal flesh tone here let's this out We just need a little bit of this so it's not necessary to pour a whole ton. Most of the stuff I've been mixing is just like little little bits. Like there's just like a few little drops. And then just drop in a little bit of reducer. Put the cap on and shake it up. 
All right. Pretty good. <laughs> All right. I'm going to try to leave all the black to the very end so that I can come in and kind of do a little bit of black uh, shading on all of this, which her pants um, will be like a really dark gray, but then we'll come in with a black and kind of give them all some shape and outline and, and everything. So, but This might take a little bit because we do have to try to get a little bit of her tattoos in there. I don't, I honestly don't, don't know, I don't remember, I didn't pay that much attention to the rest of her arms, um, or I couldn't see or something, but I knew she has a Frankenstein and one of those, like, voodoo dolls, uh, on her arm there. So the whole thing here is that we could color in this finger and stuff, and then we could tape that off when we're going to do the guitar, and it'll make it a lot easier, and it'll look a lot cleaner there. What's up, Carlitos? How's it going? How's it going? Welcome, welcome. Is that uh, Carlitos from Hiramarhi's channel, yeah? It didn't look so bright on the thing. It's like, honestly, hold on. It's like really killing it. That's a lot better. It's not as glowy. I was like, I promise it doesn't look like that. It doesn't. That's a lot better. Still kind of glowy around her face and stuff. Like it on there, on there. At least on my end, it just looks completely white. But on here, on on the actual painting, it's not. Hopefully as we add more color in, the camera will adjust a little bit better.
And the reason I decided to make her wear a tank top too, this this particular outfit with the pants with the stains, and then the the sneakers I actually asked her about. But the tank top, I just noticed that in a lot of her streams, she's just wearing a little a tank top, and her whole thing seems to be that she just wants to be comfortable, which I can't blame her. I'm the guy that appears in my pajamas and sweats in a lot of my videos because I like to be comfortable too. So I, I feel her on that one. <laughs> doesn't like being comfortable shoot actually that's the real question I just go out of my way to be uncomfortable I purposely put spikes in my car seat so that when I sit down I have to uh, <laughs> that would just be weird what's up Hiramahi how's it going man saludos saludos Hiramahi como estas Airbrushing too? Oh, nice. What are you painting, man? <laughs> Just painting ugly stuff. <laughs> oh my god. You gotta have more confidence, man. More confidence. <laughs> you name him and he appears. <laughs>
Alrighty. Uh, let's see here. What does it need? It needs more colors. Wow, that's perfect. So let's add some of this detail flesh tone into the universal flesh tone. And we're going to kind of tint it down. And if you call him, he will come. <laughs> Now from what I've seen, she's pretty white, so <laughs> I don't want to tint it. I don't actually want to use the detail flesh tone. I think that would actually be just uh, too too much. So the goal is to kind of do it. Without, uh, without making it too dark, right? Because... If I go too dark, then I could start really start make it look like something else. So, so we're we're tinting down the the detail flesh tone with the I mean the universal flesh tone with the detail flesh tone to so just kind of create a little bit darker shade. And then we're gonna start using our shields here. I should actually get some magnets. Start putting these in place. Are you just So you see that little bit right there. Right. Zoom you guys in there. So you know I don't want to darken it too much. Just enough to create an edge, but not enough to make it look like it's super duper dark. There you go. Focus is everything. <laughs> she wearing socks? No. Oh, oh, oh my god, bro. Bro, you waited. You waited till I was this far in. Um, here, actually, I'll just kind of use this color to... Since we only tinted down the, the flesh tone, we'll use this down here. Then we'll come back and when we add the highlights, hopefully it won't be so noticeable. This guy waited, bro. He waited till I was already... No, so she's not wearing socks and specifically no socks under the vans because her exact reply when I asked her, because my thing, I thought she would wear boots or sneakers. <laughs> Do you, you always use the use PSI on your pieces? Um, the same PSI? Uh, no, no, no. So every piece can have a, a different PSI. It just depends on what I'm painting and how much I'm reducing and, and yeah. Just kind of the whole overall thing. It's all right. We get it. We'll get this. We'll get. The, we'll get the, sh the feet in there. The legs in there. But anyway, like I was saying, no socks under the the shoes because her exact response when I asked her if uh, 
Again, I thought she would wear either boots, boots or uh, boots or sneakers, and she replied with no. I would prefer to be barefoot for one, she said, and then two, she said she she'll wear the the Vans uh, slip-ons over anything else. So I was like, all right, cool. I respect that. Good enough. Cleaning airbrush and take notes, but I think I'm specialized in very, very, very ugly airbrush art toe. <laughs> ah, no, nah, I think you just need some practice. I mean, did you start off by being good at fishing lures, or did you start off by not knowing how to do the fishing lures? And then the more you practiced and the more you did it, then you got really good at it. Right? Is that really what happened or did you just pick up the airbrush one day and you were just magic at doing fishing lures? I wouldn't believe that. <laughs> I wouldn't believe that for a hot minute. I'd be like, nah, you're lying. What did you, how did you learn to airbrush? <laughs> what you should be doing is using the experience that you learned from doing the fishing lures and expanding what you can do. Take that same, because fishing lures are so small, right? So take that same work that you're doing so fine, and then when you're doing something big like this, just start off with something so fine, and then just build up and build up and build up. That's that's where you should be. <laughs> uh, ciao, Angelo. Saludos, saludos. Yeah, you see, that's what I'm saying. You need to take that knowledge from the fishing lures. And you need to apply that knowledge. It's like this, right? In school, in school, they show you how to do like 1 plus 1 is 2, and 2 plus 2 is 3, blah, blah, blah. And 2 plus 2 is 3. Really? Did that just come out of my mouth? You know, you know what I mean. They they teach you math. <laughs> Apparently, math is hard, um, but they teach you math, and then you when you go out in life, you learn to apply that math to everything. You learn to apply it to your groceries, your bills, and everything like that. You should look at your airbrush the same way. You should look at that knowledge that you you took from learning how to do the lures, and then take that those dollars. You know, take those dollars you made from that. And then just apply it to other stuff, you know. What kind of white was that you started out with you for your base coat? Um, so I started off with a really, really reduced uh, Wicked White, uh, which is what we were using a couple days ago. And then I took a little bit of Wicked Opaque White, added that into the Wicked White, and then I did more details with the white on that. And then we started adding colors over that.
Uh, it's so detailed, it's sick. PSI have to be lowered. Yeah, so right now it's... I mean, I'm still at about like 20 PSI. <laughs> I've... The... the <laughs> I still need to flip it. The valve on the dang regulator is facing the wall. Right, so I can adjust the pressure, but I can't see what the pressure is because it's... <laughs> it's, face, it's facing the wall. Whoa. Alrighty. <laughs> it's, a, <laughs> it's a fun little thing that happened just because of the way, that, yeah, the mount for the regulator is, that's what happened. Your problem is that you are denied for drawing. <laughs> if you airbrush anything, anyone can airbrush. Yeah, anybody can airbrush. I will stand with you on that one. I think there's a lot of uh, people that should airbrush and probably, yeah, would benefit from airbrushing. Do you ever use any art or drawing apps or programs or sketch on paper? Um, what do you mean? I use Photoshop a lot. If that's what you mean. How did you make this design? So this, see this design here, I sketched it out, which uh, the sketch is actually still on the scanner, on the printer, I'm pretty sure. So I haven't scanned anything else yet, and I don't think the wife has either, so. The sketch is probably still sitting on the scanner. And then, um, yeah, I sketched it out, scanned it in, and then used Photoshop to turn it into something that I could, uh, Cut on my cutter, and I cut it, and I transfer the image onto here. This is where we're at. What's up, skin sill? Thank you, thank you.
so now we start getting into some of the more detailed areas and I am gonna have to tone down this uh, color to make it just a little just a slightly shadier bit of a uh, gray tone and then again we're just gonna go back and add even some more definitions into it alrighty you see a few likes come on guys what's up Anthony Mitchell how's it going yeah alright so let me get some of that out of there don't need all that let's get a little bit of black Just gonna drop one little drop of black in here and then I'm gonna add some reducer. Oh, and then I I didn't see if she had colored eyes or anything. Oh, I should probably should have paid more attention. Just a little bit more reducer in there and we'll shake it up again. Thank you for liking. <laughs> uh, I forgot what I was going to do. Okay. Yeah, no, I guess her eyes are just brown. Brown, brown. Perfect. Got a nice tone of gray in here. Then we're just gonna slightly hit it in on some spots. Like right here. Boom. A little bit right there. Just slight, you know, just to kind of throw this into the back. And then just to create the last little edge right at the bottom. Cool. And then the definition of the arm. Just gonna shade this go down this way. Just a little bit of a shadow. Hit that top. Good. And I kind of built up a shadow right here. that little shadow right there. Boom. A little bit right there. Right. Yeah. Uh, use uh, a little bit of this right here. on the hands. Looking very nice. Thank you, thank you.
What's up, break a leg? How's it going? Uh, not not entirely that late. We're still going. We're still going strong. All right. So now we're gonna have to do these eyes or right the top of the eyes. side there's some of this right here there we go Soften this up a little bit as we get a little bit farther along. I'm just trying to get a little bit of this details in here. properly in there. Onion cutter? I will Google it. I uh, know. No, no, no. This is, this is a story that she was saying. So, obviously, I have to repeat the story because if I say who was there they, when she said it, it's not going to be as, uh, yeah. Impressive how you simply do it. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Yvette. Thank you. Uh, all I get are appliances. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, how do you go about pricing your work? Is time spent, size of image, and how much detail? What time? What is time main factor? 
Yeah, all of the stuff you just said. All of that. Uh, so a lot, of, you know, time is going to be a big thing uh, no matter what. Whether it's time under the airbrush, prep time, anything like that. You know, it's time. You got to charge for your time. Peace is looking awesome as always. Thank you, thank you. <clears throat> Alright, so the story of the onion, right? Because if, if you don't know, she's sitting on an onion. Alright. A cut, a halfway chopped onion, specifically. It's specifically a halfway chopped onion because she was talking about how she really liked cooking and wanted to go to culinary school and I think somebody had asked her how she ended up being an airbrush artist and you know why she didn't take up something else and stuff and she's like yeah I wanted to take up cooking but uh, I never I only lasted two days she said because on the second day the some instructor or one of the people there or something told her to cut an onion or was trying to tell her how to cut an onion and that uh, she was just like, oh, like sh her, you know, she <laughs> just had it fed up and that uh, she was just like, I don't need nobody to tell me how to cut an onion. <laughs> she left, never, never went back. And uh, then she went on to do music and stuff. But eventually that led to her doing airbrushing. So <laughs> I just thought the, it was a whole funny story of an onion, you know, and that, that was the reason why she didn't go back to uh, culinary school. <laughs> or culinary class or whatever it was so now in order to you know so she could have a, a laugh not all like not only like the painting but she could get a laugh out of it which is what kind of what I'm after is just to see her you know ah that's funny um, you know sh she'll be able to get a laugh and stuff so it'll, it'll be pretty good like a little inside joke so what's up Chris thank you has to do with her short-lived culinary career yeah exactly <laughs> career i like how you put career in there she was in culinary class you don't have a career till you finish culinary <laughs> like school <laughs> and like you're working somewhere uh, but yeah she, she, uh, that was the whole story of the onion anyway <laughs> so I just thought it was fucking funny. It's like, really, an onion? That's why you didn't go back? Like, bro, I've had people, like, like tear me down when I want to learn something, like, hard, you know? <laughs> if all it took was an onion, I was like, man, that's funny. Like, that's, that's hella funny. <laughs> Wait, don't tell me how to cut an onion, bro. <laughs> So I actually, look, so here on the side, I have the lettering cut out, right? And then I made sure to get a lettering that's like demonic, like like it has like crosses and stuff on it. So it's going to say, do not tell me how to on the top and then cut an onion on the bottom. <laughs> and we're going to put some blood coming down off the onion <laughs> where it's going to say onion, you know, it's going to have some blood coming down just because <laughs> she does all the, you know, demonic paintings and stuff. So it's. It's a way of kind of throwing her own flavor onto here, so... <laughs> yeah. But at the same time, like, we, th we threw in the, the guitar because she does... She said she went on to get some kind of degree in music. I forget what kind of degree she said she got, but she got some kind of degree in music. And, uh, yeah. So I made sure to throw that the guitar in there just to represent that a little bit and then of course an airbrush because she's all about airbrushing she's really good so if you don't follow her over on instagram which again the the reason i and i initially followed her 
because her name on Instagram is or her tag or whatever is the painting buzz so I thought it was like a art kind of a thing I didn't even realize like it was just all about airbrush I literally thought that it was like some kind of art thing um, and I've seen a lot of people start following it so I was like oh I'm gonna follow it too I don't, I don't want to miss out then it's actually it turned out to be her so <laughs> Nothing against her. I'm just uh, that's not. I didn't. Ex I didn't know. I didn't know who she was or anything. So, but she's gonna be uh, a guest artist over at Coast Airbrush. So it'll be fun to just hand it to her and stuff. Oh, what's her name? Uh, Jesse Madera. Uh, a union led to a career of music, and uh, yeah, an onion led to a career of art and music. I mean, you could argue that culinary school is kind of artistic as well, especially with some of the stuff they do nowadays. But I, I assume a lot of people that go to culinary school don't end up doing like fancy cakes and stuff. They probably just end up working at some fancy hotel or something, cooking for high-end clients. So the onion still has the, the onion skin on it, right? And then it's going to have a part where the onion skin is ripped. And then it's going to have the, the, obviously, the chopped onion kind of ridges. So that's kind of what I'm working on over here, just this onion. So this, uh, it's like a dark grayish brown kind of that's mixed in here. Um, this is actually a pr turning out to be a pretty good color for a lot of the stuff I'm doing. I might even use some of this on her pants and uh, yeah. And then when I'm getting close to done using it, I'll probably just up tint it with a little bit of red. So we can start working on her hair a little bit. She is tatted up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks, just searched her. Yeah, yeah. Make sure you go and you follow her for sure. Let her know that Mike's brush sent you and that you come bearing onions. And she's going to be like, what? Yeah, just <laughs> make sure you go drop a comment on any of her posts and just be like, Mike's brush sent me. I come bearing onions. I all want it to lead up. To uh, when I <laughs> when I really hand it to her, you know. Is she, she? I don't think she follows me or anything, but uh, you know, it's just gonna be funny. That's kind of the purpose of some of these paintings too, is uh, just to kind of get a chance to meet some of the artists and you know, show them. Show them who I am. Should assert dominance. <laughs> no, no, I'm just playing. Just, just to have uh, make friends, you know, and uh, have uh, just nice conversations and stuff. And it always has a nice. If you have a nice place to start, it's always better. And like a lot of them, like, you know, they've just been over inspirations over the years. Um, obviously Jesse's kind of new and younger, so I can't really say she. She inspires me a whole whole lot, but I do like her artwork a lot. Her artwork is really really good. I'm not trying to tear her down or nothing, you know. But uh, she's an amazing artist. Uh, I just know she's kind of relatively new, at least to me. I've never, I yeah. I should just shut up before while I'm ahead. <laughs> uh, but yeah, anyway, she's an amazing artist. Go follow her. But I know some of the artists there. They've, um, you know, they've just been inspiration over the years. 
even since way back when when I started, those guys were already uh, you know airbrushing and stuff. Some of the guys there, like Dave and Gerald Mendez and all them, you know, they were already going ham. So I'm just excited to meet everybody and hopefully just leave my mark, you know. It looks like you chopped that onion incorrectly. <laughs> uh, uh, I, of course, yes. That, that is also kind of the, the point. I wanted it to look kind of sloppy and messy cuts here. Yeah, I'm actually really excited to start the panel after this one too because I've prepped it up and it's ready. And um, we'll do another one of those if you guess who it is. Uh, you know, you'll get a free stencil and all that. But that'll be in, a, in another few days, couple days. And then I, I still have to reach out to a couple artists that I know are in California that... But I, I just I don't know who's all going to be at the Airburst Rendezvous, so it's kind of a thing. But I know there's a couple of artists that are based there that I could probably just go and take it to them, you know, at their shop or whatever. So, and see here. All right, we got a little bit left in here. Do I want to tint it down or tint it up? I think I'm actually going to use this. I'm just going to add a little bit of black uh, and we're just going to kind of fill in her pants while we're here. Where is that going to be in Cali? So the Coast Airbrush Rendezvous happens in Anaheim at the Coast Airbrush headquarters or the, the Coast Airbrush store. Um, I've never been there, so I'm not as sure about the exact layout and size and all that, but I know it's a pretty big place. Um, and I know they have like, uh, area for spray painting and all that stuff in there. So, so it's going to be in Anaheim. Um, and I know on Saturday, Saturday nights, which is, I believe the 12th of June, uh, they're having, uh, a memorials kind of night for Mike, no Mike LaValle. And you could actually go go up on the Coast Airbrush Facebook page and they have a, an event where you could RSVP in, on there so they could kind of have an idea of how many people are going to show up. Um, and yeah, if you want a chance to meet me and all that and not have to, you know, in, I'm, I'm, or you can't take one of the classes or whatever it is, um, you know, that Saturday night might be the best night. I really, I don't know what's happening any of the other nights or anything like that. Um, and I still have not heard wor word back about uh, like filming or anything there, so I still don't know anything about that either. Um, but hopefully we get permission soon and we get the all clear and we'll be able to make some videos and, um, you know, make some videos about the whole experience and hopefully like on some of the nights or during some of the stuff we could kind of live stream to just kind of show you guys and have you guys kind of all be a part of what's happening there so you guys get an idea so you guys can maybe think about taking a class yourself I know a lot of people you know can't really make it or don't know what to expect so that's kind of what my whole idea is because 
I know a little bit of what to expect, but I know what the whole shebang is, so... I, you know... I, I know that if I show it, maybe some of you guys will be interested in being like, Oh, that's kind of cool. That's better than I thought. You know? And it's always better hearing it from somebody that's not, like, the horse, right? <laughs> In this case, if the horse leads you to water and tells you to drink, do you drink? Or do you wait for somebody else to come around and drink some water? I don't know. You already inspire a lot of us all. Thank you, Chris. You really like her way of drawing. Yeah, she, she is an amazing artist, Carlito. She does a lot of... Uh, like evil stuff for sure a lot of people that that uh, commission her artwork really like getting some evil type stuff and it's like like my mom would my mom would have none of this right my mom would see her paintings and be like no no is the diablo no no yeah my mom would have none of this Especially some of those paintings with the, with the double eyes and stuff. Oh man, those some of those are really trippy. They're trippy to see in a picture, so I'm super excited to see one of them up close in person. See kind of. What's up, the Go Kid? How's it going? You'll have to wait until next year. Yeah. <laughs> El Diablo, sí. No, no. Esos no los metas a la casa. Esos es el Diablo. What's up, James Melton? How's it going, man? I hope you liked your special surprise. And just thanks for being a, such a great supporter of the channel, man. This series of panels continues to show your best talents, buddy. Yeah, I mean, that's the whole point. Like I said in the... When I was doing Steve Leahy's panel. Um, it's like I'm going to the airbrush mecca, you know what I'm saying? It's ground zero for airbrushing, basically. So we definitely got to show up prepared, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, my mom would say things like that too when I'd have my drawings up. <laughs> oh no! Yeah, but that that stuff, I mean, people gobble it up. So definitely, if you could get some of that sprayed up, I would like to see it. What's a tip to steady my hand better? Use both hands. That's that's the best tip I have. Use both hands. Try to use your back when you can instead of your your shoulders. Right on, James. Good luck, man. We can't wait to see what you get done with those. Your mother says the same when you draw skulls or monsters. Yeah. <laughs> Hispanic moms. Yeah, they're not going for that kind of artwork. Flowers and butterflies only. Angelic pictures only. Yeah. Break out the holy water. <laughs> onion cutter will be here, a.k.a. now. No, 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 no. That's, the onion cutter is just the name of the painting. Uh, just continue to call her Jessie. I'm sure she she would not like the name Onion Cutter. I don't think anybody would, so I'm not going to bestow that upon her. But anytime you have a chance to bring up onions, make sure you bring up onions. 
It's just so that she's like, what the fuck? Why are people keep bringing up onions? So go over on, like I'm saying, go over on her Instagram right now. And just be like, Mike Brush sent me. I come bearing onions. I bring onions that need cutting. That's all you got to say. She's going to be like, what? Why do they keep talking about these damn onions? God, you almost did this morning. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, just because I think it would be super funny. And just don't let her forget that, you know, destiny did not mean for her to be cutting onions that was not in her cards her tarot cards were red and there was no onions in there <laughs> fortunately for everybody in the art world there was no onions in her cards <laughs> Is that a Vega you're using? No, so this is the... <laughs> Man, I don't even know what to call it now. I'm so confused. It's the GSI Krios PS289 or the Mr. Pro Convoy PS289. I'm pretty sure it's GSI Krios. <laughs> Why can't we just call it the Gunze brand? Bro, it's the Gunze brand. Why can't we just call it the Gunze brand? Why must we play these silly games? Um, so anyway, this is the airbrush that, if you go in the video description or whatever, this is the airbrush that's linked. Sorry, I just kind of went off on a rant there.
on the on the stream. See now, look. I wish I could do this. See, cause the background, I see the red, and when I put it like this, it looks really dark on stream. But I promise it's not that dark. Right now I'm about at 20 PSI. be able to brighten it up. Oh, please, Mike, move up the camera. Sorry, sorry, sorry. There you go. So all I did was kind of darken in here. Um, a little bit her hair. This is kind of a light gray, so I'm just going to lay it. Or a medium gray, so I'm just going to lay it right over the airbrush. And then I'm gonna come back and white highlight. Highlight that to make it look nice and shiny. We'll use black to do the hose. We need red and oranges for this guitar so it looks nice and hot and poppy. White for the thing. We also need some red and some black for her lips. And then we're gonna need some black. Right, black? Black eyebrows? brown eyebrows. I could use this color I have in here. And then on this particular picture I saved, she doesn't have any makeup, but I know I seen her that one time and she had like really dark lipstick and stuff, so. <laughs> he was thinking about how awesome the world would be if tri tip didn't exist. Exactly, bro. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Something will help to help to stop the dry tip from happening. Yeah, hopefully. 
Um, yeah. It's, uh, to me, it's an inherent byproduct from spraying paint. It's not really something that can be solved um, because it's going to happen. All right. I think, I think this is too dark for her eyebrows. So I'm going to kind of dump some of this out. What's up, babe? How's work? Huh? Yeah. Yeah, it's I put it on Isabel's door. Yeah, it said Isabel. Sure. What time is it? Gee, almost three? You, didn't, you barely got home? Oh, okay. Huh? With the onion girl. <laughs> what are you doing or what? Oh. Can you bring me a water or something? No. Good, because I have one right here then. D don't bring me nothing then. <laughs> Remove the water filter and you won't have dry tip or a good time painting. Yeah. Alright, that's a little bit better shade there. For her eyebrows. Uh, you can airbrush without a needle. <laughs> That's funny. Alright, so let's get these eyebrows in here. Just ever so slightly trying to get the finest little kind of for her hair, which I think we need to stand up for.
uh, onion in the house. <laughs> yeah, Hiramahi speaks Italian. How did you start with the image? Did an outline stencil to get on it? Um, yeah, so like I explained earlier, I, uh, I drew up the image originally. Um, and then from there, I kind of, uh, or I took it into Photoshop. <clears throat> Jeez, I don't know why I was losing train of thought while I was talking. I took it into Photoshop and then I uh, made a little stencil out of it. And then I cut out the stencil and that's what we used for the transfer image. Which is over there. Which is just kind of a bunch of little random lines. And so I'm probably going to get it all in there, um, except her tattoos and some of the finer details. Um, I'll leave those um, you know, for, for myself probably off stream tomorrow or something. Um, but I'm probably, I am going to do the whole background that I have planned and stuff. So we're almost there. We're almost at the point where we're done with the, the majority of the pictures. So all I'm going to have to worry about is... Uh, getting some of the, the finer details in there. And this is just a little bit of light tan just to kind of re-emphasize the hairlines here. And I'm not really sure what her hair looks like, um, so this is kind of just the hair I went with. So a lot of the streams I see her, she just kind of has her hair up in a messy bun. That's kind of what I went. I did see the other day, though, she had, like, this perfectly straight hair. And I was like, oh, wow, you did your hair and stuff. And she's like, oh, well, that's, you know, does not me getting done and stuff. I was like, oh, <laughs> forget the compliment. <laughs> so... <laughs> big compressor, yeah, that's a big, big compressor. Mark Nagel, Bravo. Thank you, thank you, sir. Trying to get the shot here. Hey, hey, hey. It ain't the size of the compressor that matters. It's how you use it, bro. <laughs> kind of tones here in the hair before I come back into some brown and just kind of and she's kind of like I don't know. I, I want to say she's a dirty blonde but I'm not sure if that's even her real hair color so I don't know and I do kind of want to give it some red tips or something because for some reason I remember her having colored hair but I don't know if that's true <laughs> Uh, yeah, so, let's see here. I need to paint an onion on your compressor now. <laughs> Just 
tones in there. All the little different tones. Then when I come back in and cut with the black, it's gonna look really good. Cool. And then we could add red. I'm gonna. I want to add red onto her hair, but we could do that once I have the the red loaded in. Um, for now, though, I think I'm ready to switch over to the guitar. Same with their lips. I want to give her red lips with a uh, black, like, outline. But I feel like it'd be better if we do that once we actually have the red loaded. The shirt, too. The shirt is kind of at the end, the white. The airbrush is kind of at the end, the white. Uh, yeah. Make sure while I have some of this in here, I'm just going to add some more stains onto her pants. She dyed it brown. Cool, so then this will, this will pretty much match. I don't even want to say, you know how girls are though, in a month it'll be different, but, but yeah. I have a feeling I'll do it brown and then we'll show up at the Airbrush Rendezvous and she'll have it a different color. Because <laughs> I know that's what my wife does. A section on the front is blonde. Is it? Is it the whole thing or did she dye it brown or you have a cheap homemade compressor and an expensive airbrush. Oof. I still like that. So, who was it that Googled it and was like, it's giving me nothing but appliances? <laughs> the onion cutter. <laughs> oh my god. You guys are something else. <laughs> Break a leg. <laughs> That's funny, yo. <laughs> I'm just building in some shadows here, just some little really light ones. I'm just gonna give everything some shape. Onion like Tropia Onion, Italy. <laughs> I believe that if instead of airbrushing you started taking drugs, you would have spent a lot less money. <laughs> oh my god, bro. Sometimes, yeah, sometimes it could be expensive for sure. <laughs> I think we got all this shot. I just want to add one more this way. Cool. <laughs> uh, let's see here. What should I do next? So I think I'm going to load up some red. I want some nice red on this. Uh, why do I keep wanting to call it a motorcycle? On the 
on the guitar here. <laughs> Yo, man, this was my alternative. <laughs> How did you make a homemade compressor? That's, that's what I wanted to do. Did you use like the refrigerator motors and stuff? Interested. <laughs> a pache and an I water? That's, that's good. Um, let's see, what was I doing? Oh yeah, getting red. Getting some red or red. Don't need very much, so just a little tiny little bit and a little few drops of reducer. And then we shake it up. I'm gonna shake it up. I'm gonna rock it up. And a separate tank, it's silent, nice. Nice, nice. The Pache is a gift. You see the Pache in Mr. Cartoon's video. Is Mr. Cartoon still making videos? Or is it like an old video? Now the force is with you. You have not to do with the affinity, you bet the needle, you stick it in your finger, ouch, bro, ouch. That can hurt like hell. Airbrush needles are no joke.
You touched the bonds with the needle. Oh my gosh. Ah, freak, bro. Ouch. That hurts just to think about it. Ugh. Oh, man. <laughs> the dry tip is an evil that inflicts you manage to be eradicated. Man, that just sounds painful all the way to the bone. These things hurt, and they're not... I mean, they're thin at the very tip, but, like, down at the... You know, once you get in there, they're thick. So... Alright, and then we're gonna do red on her lips, but this is just the base, again, for the red. I understand. I completely understand. This is way too bright. Alright, so it's going to look kind of clowny. But trust, this is not the, the color that we're going for. I might actually even need to reduce this down just a little bit. Yeah, let me reduce it down. <laughs> Few drops of reducer is like probably way too much. I just probably needed like a couple drops. So there's like no paint in there. Giving yourself a tattoo while airbrushing. Woo! That's a new type of tattoo. Oh, you can't see. Cool. So I guess we got all the guitar in there. We're gonna try to move her, get her lips. Otherwise, you have to sell your whole hand. <laughs> uh, <laughs> begging to buy back the nozzle. Jesus Christ, bro. You're chopping for <laughs> onion slicers now. Oh my God, bro. For some reason, I envision her having like red tips on her hair for some reason. I don't know why that's in my head, but I must, I must put it into the painting so that it gets out of my head, so. <laughs> just, and for some reason, just like tips, not like red hair all over, but just like, for some reason, this is how I remember her. It's just like kind of red tips. Which I think would look dope, but I don't know, I don't know. 
Man, if if keeping long hair wasn't so much god dang maintenance, I would have long hair all day. But when I had my long hair, bro, it was it was a lot of hassle having my long curly hair. It was it was a lot of fucking work to be quite honest with you, so I don't miss it, not very much. <coughs> Alright, so I'm gonna shade this red just a tad using a little bit of purple just a tad bit of purple it says watch it will be her new hair color next time she changes yeah right <laughs> <laughs> That'd be funny though. It'd be funny if I showed up to the rendezvous and this is how she had her hair. I'd be like, wow. <laughs> wow, just wow. So now we have like a nice burgundy color, right? And we're just gonna kind of lay this in as a shadow kind of on some of these. I almost said motorcycle again. I had to stop myself from saying more motorcycle from this guitar. Just drop that in right there. And I'm just gonna finely edge her lips here. And that's gonna give the lips kind of a shape as well as a little bit of a darker tone, which kind of what I noticed that she wore. If it don't work, use a flex. <laughs> Julia Ned is thinner than I can slice by hand. What? What is that? Julia Ned. pretty good. Um, do I need any of this anywhere else? Probably right here. Now we're almost at the home stretch. Just got to finish out the definition on this guitar. Um, so I'm going to just, I'm just going to add a little bit of black onto this to make a really dark maroon which we'll use to make the slats and kind of give some of this a little bit more detail just a little bit dark and then I'll finally oh wait no 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 and then I'll mix up some white we'll do some white first and then we'll mix up some black probably in a separate airbrush um, so that we can detail it all in Almost, almost. Very, very thin slices. All right. One day you will thank me, maybe, I hope. 
He was thanking you a lot the other day when we did the live stream. He's like, thank you, Carlitos. Thank you, Carlitos. Carlitos is fantastic. <laughs> All right. That and then I need to use some of this to make the shade right here. Go. So how's that looking? Is that looking pretty good? It's really kind of brought it to life once we added some of those dark colors in. But we're about to do some white to really get some of this in there. And give it some shape. And then we're going to come in with the black. We'll cut it in. And then a lot of that background is just black and white real easy. So rinse out this color and mix up some white. Let me just take one last look, make sure I'm not missing something with this. I think we're good. Yeah, I think we're good. <laughs> Since I'll marry you, my cousin, if a little mustache doesn't bother you, you might like it. <laughs> what? <sighs> yeah, that Google Translate was not very good on that one. <laughs> it's fantastic because he put up with you and supported you for a long time and still does. Oh, right on. Right on Carlitos <laughs> for showing him. Make sure you, you keep showing him, showing him the ways. So I don't need a lot of white, just a couple little, a couple little drips of white. Just a little drip of reducer. Put our cap back on. What's up, Yesenia? Hola, hola. Why did I say hola, hola? Yesenia, hello. <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> I don't know why I automatically assumed you talk Spanish. But <laughs> welcome to the stream. Should we expect Campan de Nazo? What is that? <laughs> 
Campanela de Nos. Todo bien, gracias. Oh, thank you, you did talk Spanish. Oh, that's your wife. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Hola, hola, Yesenia. I didn't know that was your name. Sorry. What's up, Wicked Insanity? How's it going? Blue by you. I don't correct that. Not so good. Hola, Yesenia. Saludos, saludos. Oh, you know what I did forget to do with the red and stuff? Is add stains onto her clothes. So that's something I'm going to have to come back. Um, you see, obviously, her thighs. I don't know what she actually wipes off on her thighs, but she always has paint stains on her thighs. So that's kind of what we're doing there. Oh, campanas de matrimonio. <laughs> Blue by you mean marriage bells, huh? All right, so I'm just gonna take some white and I'm gonna give a little bit of white highlights to some stuff. Just right there on the skin. The main highlight on the shoulder right here. A little bit coming up. So just give her that little back, that snow white look that she has where her skin is just It's white, and if you get offended that I say your skin is white, you're silly because my skin is brown, and I don't get offended if you call it brown. That's just an observation more than anything. All right. <laughs> Hi, husband. Here am I. Sí, pero el italiano no traduzó bien. Oh, yeah. Oh, wedding bells. That's what it's... That's what it's... <laughs> Sorry, I'm stupid. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, I have an airbrush and a compressor picked out. Might never happen unless I get another check. Uh, yeah, I mean, it, it happens. We all got to just cop, keep working and and hopefully, you know... All the stars align, we could all get the stuff we want. <laughs> oh no, I think Hiramahi might be in trouble, bro. What time is it where you are? Hiramahi, your wife might want you to go to bed, my guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Hiramaki is... <laughs> ¿Qué hora son allá? Y en vez de decir ahorita voy para pa allá, <laughs> dice, ven, ven y tráeme, ven y tráeme. <laughs> this cousin gives her as a bride to anyone. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. This chat has gone off the rails right now. Oh, you have the 2D picked? The 2D looks pretty good. I haven't, I haven't tried the 2D yet, so I can't really spay. <laughs> Sin por favor ni nada, dice. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Goodness is yeah, casi son la medianoche. Ya no me voy a meter, si no lo voy a meter en más problemas. Pobrecito, mejor no digo nada. Um, 
What brush are you using? Uh, this is the GSI Creos PS289. <laughs> <laughs> my <laughs> yes, Enya. Oh my goodness, Hiramahi, por favor. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, this is the, the Krios PS289. Your brain tells you to eat the best that I can afford. I'm a trained person. To eat tea the best that I can afford. To get the best you can afford. Um, a trained person. What do you mean by a trained person? Por favor, mi linda esposa, te quiero mucho. Oh, ahora sí, ahora sí ya, ya quiere dar las cosas. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, a model train. Oh yeah, definitely if you if that's all you plan to do, that that's that uh, airbrush, that compressor is going to be good. See, the only time you run into a problem with those compressors is when you're doing like extended amounts of spraying. Um, so that's kind of why the reason I, I just straight up just use like a 60 gallon like huge shop compressor is because otherwise one of those little compressors would just keep turning on constantly here and just, you know, it wouldn't last as long. So. Ojalá Hiramaji fue al orto cuarto a consolar su esposa porque parecía que estaban a punto de tener problemas. She just brought you everything, she didn't refuse. He couldn't help but come here to admire all my beauty elbow cup. <laughs> oh my gosh. black I believe it's time for black siempre. <laughs> her feet are kind of long there. Uh, caricature, I guess. Yeah, the, her feet are kind of big. Her arms are kind of super extended. Her legs are kind of super extended. Her head is probably bigger than it should be. She's also sitting on an onion. I'm, I might remind you that she's sitting on a chopped onion. Uh, yeah, so... But the reason I made her feet just a little bit bigger was to make sure I could show off the vans that she said she liked wearing, so. Alright. I think we're ready for some black. Now I'm going to mix up the black in the Air Cobra airbrush here. to this black I was using earlier. 
pretty sure this is just black straight out of the bottle. Her head is huge, didn't want to say anything. Yeah, yeah, it's on purpose. It's on purpose big, it's... <laughs> Yeah, like you guys haven't said anything about her shoulders and her arms like being super long and stuff. Your head on your shoulders in, in real life is quite big. Tú enséñale y enséñale. Enséñale quién es el el verdadero jefe. Seven and three quarters hat size. Mouse hats don't fit me even with adjustable bands. Oh man. <laughs> el sabe perfectamente quién es el boss. <laughs> Eso es muy bueno, muy muy bueno. La, la pregunta que tengo es cómo se mirará Hiramagi cuando lo regañan. ¿Qué cara pondrá? Ella es la jefa, no puedo decir lo contrario. De lo contrario doblará las agujas del aerógrafo. Vale más que tengas cuidado porque... Te va a salir caro, pues. train hat fits though. Wife hates the train hat though. My Forrest Gump ass aka Bubba Gump shrimp hat fits great. <laughs> What's a good idea? Ah, what did I miss? Oh, the needles? Oh, whatever. You better never come in here trying to touch no needles. <laughs> Google Translate for the win. <laughs> uh, you had a guy thinking you were a vet because of that hat, but I said, no, I'm not stealing Valor, but thank you for your service, sir. <laughs> he had a Nam hat on him. Oh, my God. That's funny, bro.
<laughs> Just take him with me so she can't bend him. <laughs> You know, Mahi's already trying to think of ways of getting away with stuff. He's like, I could do it, but then I'll just have to make sure I pick up my needles. <laughs> you picked out a booth already, too? Nice, nice, nice. I'm jealous of, like, uh, model painters like that. You guys could just get a small booth, and you're pretty much set. not quite the same when you pick on um, big things. Not like I can bend it though. I can't reach over my head much no more. Oh man, that's rough. <clears throat> oh man, I don't know. We'll have to figure that out. I'm just gonna be like this airbrush hose. I wanted to do it in black, but I also kind of want to do the whole background in black. But I guess we're gonna have to figure that out when we get there. Now I'm just going to use a little bit of black to cut the painting into the panel. So that we can get to the background. I'll get the background done and we'll call it a day. And now I can come back in the next live stream and we'll have a whole nother panel ready. Dobla todo menos las agujas, por favor. Somehow you got your LED uh, installed in the basement rafters after much trying. And that sounds rough, bro. Like, I have my, my back axe up, or my hip, I should say, back axe up every now and then. And I know when I'm stuck on the floor, I very much feel helpless and I you know of course I do everything in my power to stand back up and keep moving but for sure sometimes it just feels like god dang dude I just wish it would go away Working out, bro, working out all the time and still haven't lost any weight. My wife says I have some bodybuilder like legs now, though. My legs are looking super. Mm. <laughs> so. Especialmente en el nuevo aerógrafo. Sí, no, no, en los nuevos no, en los viejos, en los viejitos sí, eso sí los puedes tocar. Pero los nuevos no. <laughs> Fibromyalgia and hip issues, etc. Plus chemo. At least I beat the prostate cancer. Oof, bro, that's a lot of stuff.
What are you LOLing over there? <laughs> when I was young, I rode a bike everywhere. Tree stump legs then, but I'm alive. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, when, like, early days of high school, freshman and sophomore year, I did. I rolled a bike everywhere. I was really big into BMX, and then I played sports and stuff, too, all at the same time. Like, I don't know. But bro, after high school, it's like my body just said, nah, bro. Nah. I shouldn't say after high school, after life. After life started happening to me. Uh, yes, the cost of shipping is automatically calculated at checkout. Yep. Right now it's like a dollar. A dollar per, per stencil. So again with her pants. Know that I am planning to learn English decently. Nice, nice, nice. <laughs> oh, man. Wow, Wicked Insane. That's a lot of stuff, bro. My gosh. You've lived a rough life. Gira <laughs> Magi Tratando de Ya mejor yo no digo nada, ya no me voy a meter <laughs> ya era hora, <laughs> se te está esperando. <laughs> I did okay, I guess, all due to my real thick blood. I'm on enough blood thinners to kill a horse. Oof. Bro.
That's that's extra rough. I don't even know what to say after that one. <laughs> but first of all, oh my God, Hina Mahi. Just be careful, bro. She's gonna go through your phone while you're asleep. <laughs> <laughs> You've never bruised even on the thinners? That's crazy. I don't bruise very easy either, either so I hope I don't have all kinds of problems like that here coming soon. <laughs> coming my way. You ask yourself how did your heart even pump blood? Bro, I, I'm concerned and I don't even know, how, like, yeah, that's rough, bro. <laughs> then we'll draw pepperoni together, huh? <laughs> oh my gosh. Alright, so I'm just going to take some of that same white that we had. And before, I'm just going to drop the painting down. But before I do that, I want to make sure I get these little edges. Carlitos. <laughs>
Okay. Now I could drop the painting down and we can work on this stuff up at the top. Just put it right there. <clears throat> Is it raining outside or what? What? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> um, it's up there, yeah. <laughs> Un pepperoni pero grandote así grueso lleno <laughs> Un pepperoni bonito De romper agujas. <risa> Vas a tener que, que poner un alambre para, para que estar seguro que no se te vaya a ir del cuarto. Cartel de Santa te, te va a ver los avanzajes del WhatsApp, eh. Cuidado, cuidado. <laughs> And then I just use the black uh, to really give her hair kind of some definition there like messy hair anyway so she kind of has it tied back and then pulled into a bun so. eso es lo que tú crees <laughs> <risa> ay, ay. Me encanta cómo se llevan.
<risa> ay, ay, ay. Escóndelas muy, muy bien. Pero, pero, ¿por qué tienes miedo de dejarlas ahí? ¿Qué hiciste? ¿Qué hiciste? ¿Qué fue? Si no hiciste nada, pues no hay razón de tener miedo. Echándole gas, echándole gas. Si la escondes al bueno recordado, oh my goodness. Ay, Hiramagi, no más un lado. Ay, ay, ay. Yo ya tengo ese mismo problema, ok. Si, si escondo algo, digo, no, aquí lo voy a poner para que esté seguro. Y luego ahí cuando lo necesito, ¿dónde, ¿dónde lo puse? ¿Dónde lo puse? Estaba aquí, aquí lo usé. No sé dónde lo puse. Oh my goodness. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is just take a little bit of degreaser. Um, and uh, we're gonna try to 
degrease the back on my little fingerprints and stuff before I start putting the background in. Now I'm definitely not answering that number, what the fuck? But actually, before I do that, I'm just gonna... Luego me pregunta dónde las escondió en medio de la noche. Oh my goodness. <ríe> sí, exactamente. Según aquí lo voy a poner para cuando lo necesite, lo voy a. Ya sé dónde está. Y luego viene el día que lo necesito. Y, oh, ¿dónde, ¿Dónde lo puse? Ah, por aquí. Ah, no. Por allá. No, no, ahí tampoco. No. So let me wipe it off real quick. And I should actually, like, I'll get you guys like this. Right there with the light so you can see. If I wipe it. Wipe it and then turn it so you can see. There you go, see. And then I obviously still have to add her tattoos and some more details, her teeth, add some more details into her eyes and stuff. But for now, I think we're at the point where I could do her the background and be alright. Una petición para abrir el pollo loco también en Italia. Oh my goodness, pollo loco. Ah, it's so good. It's so good. Está, pero riquísimo, riquísimo. El pollo loco. Okay, so last time Stephen Ward was the one that said that I should put a pentagram, an airbrush pentagram. Take a little bit of black and some of these magnets. And we're going to try to build ourselves an airbrush pentagram in the back. So obviously we're going to need two airbrushes like this. We're gonna need one kind of going across. Alright, we'll do it this way. 
probably should put this one in first, but it's alright. Gracias, gracias. Thank you, guys. You are the one with the pink t-shirt. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> uh. <laughs> All right, so let's just put some black in right around this and trying to be careful not to get it all over her hair. Too crazy. <laughs> get the thing and then we're gonna should we put him backwards or should we put him the normal I think the normal way is probably better This one's going down. I 
An airbrush pentagram, he said. I need a bionic eye. <laughs> oh my gosh. Are airbrush parts that expensive in Italy? You have to sell body parts, so oh man. Well, I'm not sure how well our airbrush pentagram plays off as a pentagram, but nonetheless, we tried. <laughs> airbrush pentagram. Oh, what did I click? Five airbrushes in a pentagram. Me, me. I don't know. Looks alright. Eh. Would I? I don't know if I would have. I don't know if that's how I would have done it, but looks good. Now I'm just gonna give it a black vignette all the way around, just of a black shadow, and then we'll put the lettering in in white. Pentagram or upside down? Yeah, 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 yeah. I know this, my guy, but if I would have put it upside down, then you would have only seen, like, a couple of things sticking out. So it was kind of that whole thing where it, it, it had to be the other way. Because obviously the focal point is that. that. And that's, like, hardcore shit, right? Like... <laughs> Yeah, believe me, I, th I thought about doing it upside down, but like I said, the placement, it would have really just, the whole thing would have been covered. You would have just seen like a little bit. So I tried, this is kind of where I thought it would be better. I honest, I perfectly made these fit like all the way across so that I could try to make it as big as possible. But I didn't know how it was going to look until we actually sprayed it. So, but I think it came out pretty cool. Just a nice little background effect. It's not really anything major.
cool. Now let's try to get this lettering in here. Which on the top it says, do not tell me how to. Let's get some magnets up in here. get all these pieces in here this is gonna take a second Ugh. well it's a pentagool <laughs> what is a pentagool I'm very sorry if I'm not up to snuff in my uh, satanic symbols you know to get as many of these in here we're probably gonna have to keep moving them around and I need a blade Man, this is gonna take a while. I forgot about these O's. These O's is what's gonna take the most longest. It's every single one has these four pieces that goes inside of it. This is, this is the part where I wish low-tack vinyl would have been in stock when I was looking, because it wasn't, and now here I am having to do this. Do not tell me how to.
Okay, so it's only it's only three O's, right? So we're gonna have to move those from that O to that O to that O to that O. I mean, it's just it's just three of them. How long could it take? The right side up is more the female aspect, anyway. Cool. I'm glad I have some religious symbol experts in the chat. I'm just going to skip this right here. What's up, break a leg? It's the female aspect of the Wiccan religion. Cool. Carlitos and Hiramahi. Bro, what's that? It's like 1 a.m. where you guys are already. Yo, your wife is going to be mad. Diablo game font? Um, I'm not sure. It might be. I just know I liked it because it had like the crosses and the symbols in the writing. Oh, 
almost at the home stretch for today's stream. Again, I just want to thank all you guys for hanging out. Very much appreciate all you guys just joining today, watching me paint and having a good time. Much appreciated, like always. Again, if you don't follow Jesse over on Instagram, make sure you go and you follow her and make sure you go and you let her know that you have some onions that need chopping. something that the person he is painting said um, so she pretty much said the story of the onion here we go again oh wait I should probably move this because it's not where it's gone uh, the story of the onion is that she somebody asked her I forget I forget how the question came about but I believe they asked her um, how did she end up airbrushing or how did she you know and she was talking about how she originally didn't want to do airbrushing. She was wanting to get into culinary school. And uh, that only lasted a whole two days because apparently on the second day, somebody tried to instruct her on how to properly cut an onion, to which she was having none of that. And she basically told the instructor, don't tell me how to cut an onion and never went back. <laughs> so that's the story of the onion. And that's why I it's like if you go over to her Instagram, make sure you you tell her you got some onions. Make sure that I sent you. Tell her Mike's brush sent me and I brought a bag of onions that need chopping, you know? <laughs> She's going to be like, what the fuck, bro? Why are all these people coming with onions? She's going to... Alright, so on the onion, on the first O, for some reason the first O is normal, and then the second O has to have these little cross things here. I don't know why. That's just the way it was. Yeah, so she lasted two whole days in culinary class and then was like, fuck you, like, I'm not, don't tell me how to cut an onion. So same thing. <laughs> this is a way of teasing her. Alrighty.
but did Hiramahi and Carlitos fall asleep finally? All right, there we go. Now we can unmask everything. Take everything off. Let me just move the camera. It's the easiest way. Um, so there you go. Don't tell her how to cut an onion. Let me see if I could... Um, there you go. Then we could do that. Loosen this up. See all the detail on the onion there, the detail in her pants, the design on the guitar is just like one of those scratched up guitars. Um, yeah, like I said, I'm still going to go back. I have to do her tattoos. Um, I'm also going to do a little bit more work on her face, obviously. Um, but yeah, do not tell me how to cut an onion. Simple as that. I could wipe it off with degreaser too to give you guys a, a good idea of what that's going to look like. Let me just give it a second to dry. You like the pentagram of brushes. Yeah, that's pretty dope. It honestly looks pretty cool in there. Once I clear it up, it's going to really, really, really look good. Let me get some degreaser real quick. And I'll show you guys. see when I wipe it that background it really pops out a little more there you go it's as best as I could do it's gonna dry up and then yep but I'll come back I'll finish this up tomorrow and then we'll come back in a few days and uh, we'll get started on another panel. And the next artist, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be pretty obvious. So you're going to want to be here early if you want it, a chance to stencil because it's going to be pretty freaking obvious. I'm pretty sure people are going to be guessing it as soon as, I, <laughs> as soon as I start live streaming. People are going to be like, oh, that's this one. So, yeah. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Hiramahi and Carlitos, for being part of the chat the whole way through. Thanks, Stephen Ward. You ran through the brain. <laughs> pentagrams. Looks cool. Yeah, the the airbrush pentagram in the back is, is pretty cool. Uh, yeah, that was your idea, Stephen Ward, so thank you again for that. What's up, Break a Leg? Thank you, Break a Leg. Um, yeah. So anyway, <clears throat> that'll be it for today. We're going to come back, what's today, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and we'll do some more live streaming then on Wednesday. Um, yeah, as always, like I said, if you guys don't follow Jesse, make sure you go and follow Jesse and uh, tell her that you got some onions that need chopping. <laughs> gracias, gracias, Yesenia. Gracias, muchas gracias. Gracias a Yesenia, gracias a Hiramahi, a Carlitos por estar aquí en el chat eh, entero. Uh, y Hiramaji lo, <ríe> lo, ahorita le, le van a dar muy muy bueno a Hiramaji por estar 
<laughs> Todavía ya, ya son que las una de la mañana. Oh my god. Right on, Blue Bayou. Thank you for being here. You you were also here the whole time, so that's amazing. Thank you, Blue Bayou, for hanging out in the chat the whole time. I think you changed your profile picture in that time, too, because that's different. You're going to go buy a slicer now. <laughs> Bro, I, I might just show up with one of those, like, one of those hand chopping machines, you know what I'm saying? And just a bag of onions and just be like, here you go, here's your painting and your onion slicer. And... <laughs> Anyway, guys, um, I'll get out of your guys' hair. Thank you guys all for hanging out. Have a good evening. Have a good night. Buenas noches a todos. Gracias, gracias, gracias. Igual por todo el aporte y todo, todo el soporte. Nos vemos en el video que sigue. And again, oh, if you're watching now and if you made it this far, if you go on this on the website, mikesbrush.com, you want to get yourself some stencils. If right now, if you use code YouTube, all lowercase YouTube, you get 15% off your entire order. I don't know. I don't know what was said, but we'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Thank you guys all for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Later, everybody. <laughs>